here again and I am getting ready to jump into another review. Probably a couple weeks ago I did the jam play, uh, kind of the full guitar review and rundown, uh, which I'll put a link to in the description below the video. So check that out if, you, uh, if you're interested and if, if you can hit that subscribe button, give the video a like. There's also a link to just check out jam play yourself. I think they give you a seven day free trial. We, I, I do use their affiliate program, so if you sign up uh, through that link, that'll help me out and uh, help out Guitar Chalk. So uh, check that out if you're interested. But in this video, we're going to go over, we're just kind of going to review the bass segment of Jam Play. And just to, just to kind of give, give a little overview of how that works, they, they have the guitar section and the bass section kind of separated out. So if you like if you buy a membership for guitar, you aren't going to have the bass lessons available to you. You'd have to buy a, a bass membership. They separate it, um, which isn't ideal, but I can see why they do it. So like if you go in here, this is just a this is an affiliate account. Uh, just full disclosure. I'm not uh, I've, I've had paid accounts on a couple different occasions with these guys. Um, but lately, since. Uh, I don't have an active account right now. I've just been using this affiliate login, uh, but it's all the same thing. It's the exact same membership. It 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 makes bass and guitar available. Um, so like if you were to go into one of these uh, phases, and you'll look at the top, there are uh, there are two tabs. There's the guitar tab, and then there's uh, the bass tab. So if you were to sign up for one or the other, you would have only have one of those two tabs available to you. But what I wanted to do is just kind of give a full uh, rundown of the Jam Play bass lessons because they're they're one of the few companies that actually provide paid bass courses. So uh, like Guitar Tricks, the, they don't have any bass lessons, um, and and I know they get that question all the time. <clears throat> you know, people asking about about bass, and I and I know they do some referrals to Jam Play, even though you know they're kind of competitors. Um, but yeah, not a lot of bass lessons out there in uh, in the world of the internet. Um, <clears throat> jam play is kind of kind of it and there are some I don't know, let me look at uh, let's see I did I did a little bit of writing on this topic. let's see here it is. Just to refresh my memory on kind of what your options are. Um, yeah, so I've, I've recommended jam plays just cause they're kind of the, they're kind of the most, uh, cohesive and put together program. So yeah, like true fire is going to have some stuff. Um, musician has a base program, artist works. Uh, but other than that, you have, uh, you have some YouTube things, but this is kind of it. Like this is the main one. Uh, and what I've been doing is just kind of going through, uh, getting familiar with the content. I haven't, I haven't used it in a while, so this is a little bit cold. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give a rundown. I'm not going to get into like super gory details of each course and the lessons and, and everything that evolves, partly because this is paid content and I don't want Jamplay to fuss at me for, um, airing too much of their premium program on YouTube. Uh, in fact, the way I have the microphone set up, uh, we're not we're not really going to listen to any of it. I'm just going to go through and kind of talk about it, give my two cents. So b basically, if you're a if you're a Jam Play member, I've I said this in the guitar review that you the only section that is really going to be significant to you is this tab right here, this uh, this lessons tab. And if you go in to that tab, you have four phases. Now, just to get the bad news out of the way immediately, the songwriting section. Uh, for bass is uh, non-existent. So they have a little bit on electric guitar, uh, but most of that is acoustic guitar specific, um, which is weird. It seems like this would sort of be its own course, um, but uh, you know, obviously there are multiple courses within this section, um, but there's nothing for bass. And then if you go to phase three, which is songs, uh, you'll find a guitar. There's there's a good bit, not still not a ton by um, you know, like when you compare to the guitar tricks, uh, song section, uh, but there's a lot, uh, on jam play here. And then when you go to the bass tab, uh, it's just far more limited. Like they only have a few things here and they, and they do have some, 
I don't know, some notable, like you have some Joe Satriani tracks there that are uh, taught by, I forget this guy's name, who is this? Uh, Brian Beller. Uh, I think he is, I think he is a somewhat well-known musician, but he teaches a few things here. That Satriani track is cool, and then you have some Beatles stuff. Um, and you have a few Godsmack songs that Robbie Merrill, uh, he's Godsmack's bass player actually comes on and teaches. Um, you know, so there's, there is definitely some, uh, some interesting stuff here. And I, as, as is common with, if you haven't checked out the guitar, uh, jam player review that I did this, um, this video setup that you're looking at here with the, they have the student view, they have the instructor view, like as if you're looking uh, at the instructor and then you have kind of your your own uh, uh, your or they they call this on the bottom sorry the instructor view where you're looking down at the the fretboard and this looks a little bit different because Robbie Merrill actually uh, is left-handed so he plays uh, he does all the fretting with his right hand which kind of looks a little bit goofy if you don't uh, play that way which I guess most people don't but but the the all, all that to say the song section here is um you know just really limited there's there's just not a lot to keep you very busy and if you aren't you know I got kind of lucky because I I'm a big uh kind of a metal fan and I like Godsmack I, I'm even down with um you know I could even get into some of this uh uh maybe Pantera and Black Label Society but uh, besides that you know there's nothing there's nothing too noteworthy here. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, but then if you go in, I'm kind of going about this backwards. Actually, let's, let's not do that. I'm, I'm starting, I started backwards. I started four going down. Let's go to the beginner section. This is where, um, I, I think this program has a good bit of value. So like if you're a beginner, uh, and you want to just uh, explore a few different ways to uh, learn bass and, uh, kind of, maybe get used to one of these instructors. Um, all of these are beginner courses. So for example, let's, let's just start Billy Sheehan's course. He's, uh, Steve Vai's, uh, played bass with Steve Vai for a while. Um, you'll, you'll go in here and you can see all of the lessons that he covers and there's multiple videos within each lesson, but he's going after, uh, you know, kind of the basic beginner stuff as he understands it. So he's going to go over some some rhythm uh, issues. He's going to look at uh, let's see where was let's see uh, some scale basics. Just kind of and and again, if you go into a lesson, it's going to pull up the video player, and then you're going to have uh, over here on the right side of the screen, you have scale basics and making mistakes. Those are the two lessons within the lesson. So those are each videos. And then you can click on here and you're going to have your supplemental content, which I think isn't always going to be. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no tabs included in this one. So let's go back and just dig around a little bit more. Um, yeah, if you compare then, so, so what, what you're not getting here is now, now that's Billy Sheehan's beginner course. Let's say you want to look at Evan Brewer's beginner course. I don't know as much about this guy, uh, but but he this is going to basically be another beginner course, you know, as understood and as taught by Evan Brewer. So you're going to have kind of kind of a redundant uh, uh, some 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 redundancy just looking at these titles. Uh, like he's going to go over some basic left hand technique. He's going to go over scales. We saw scales in Sheehan's course, um, and just some just kind of stuff that maybe this particular teacher is a little more interested in, uh, which is fine. So then if you go into like let's just go into his sort of his token scales lesson here, um, you know he he's going to approach it from a little bit of a different angle, which is fine. So I think what what you would want to do if you're kind of coming into this program cold is you would want to just explore a little bit and look at some of these uh, courses and kind of see which teacher you most identify with and that's most interesting to you. And then once you find something you like, go through the full course, watch all the videos, 
and then you can after you've done that as a beginner you can kind of just skip around because uh, it's, it's not to say that you you can only do one of these I mean you could you could go through uh, wow see this is Larry Cook's course is 600 minutes worth of stuff that's a ton of that's a ton of content so so what I'm not saying uh, is that the that you should just you know pick a course a beginner course go through it and you're done I mean obviously there's stuff that you can kind of jump around to like just things that catch your eye so for example um, yeah like string skipping here this looks kind of interesting uh, you know if that's something where, what I think jam play is really good at is they they're able to get you excuse me they're able to get you into really specific uh, areas of study that you uh, wouldn't be able to uh, delve into with just one instructor right so instead of instead of having one instructor that's teaching you all the beginner content you have 10 different instructors that are all teaching you a beginner course in their own way and I think there are some some major advantages to that especially if you're the type of person that you know you you've kind of developed a cornerstone of of a skill set and you want to build on that and you don't necessarily want to be hemmed in by one single approach uh, then I mean the the base program and jam play has got you covered and like I said the the best thing to do is to you know maybe find one guy that you like um, and just use his course all the way through uh, and and you can you can actually there like I said there should be a link to the free trial uh, for jam play below and if you sign up uh, that helps me out um, but go ahead and check that out in seven days uh, I think they'll give you for free and then that'll give you enough time to kind of uh, maybe go through one of these courses and then if you like it sign up and then you can keep uh, just kind of jumping around to different lessons uh, because like again if you go back like uh, Larry Cook's course is over 600 minutes and you know all these there you go this is Alex Scott's course is you know it's covering basics but it's 500 minutes worth of basic like that's a ton of content for base um, there there's no way that any one of these courses uh, are, are going to be so redundant that you're going to, you know, like that, like you're, you're not going to be just repeating things by going and delving into some of this other material. Um, so again, it, it's, it's it, when, if you, if you look, uh, let's look at this lesson, deep grooves. See, this is a, this is just a completely, obviously this guy's kind of into funk. He's, you know, maybe a little bit more of a, maybe more or less of a metal guy and probably more into you know some of this uh, speed technique and you just get a whole different approach so it's hard to tell exactly what you'll get with each one without kind of clicking through some of these so when I was looking at this earlier before starting this recording I was just kind of watching and listening to some of the uh, some of the lessons and trying to get a feel for their personality and it's it's if you can't hear it but most of these guys their their lessons don't sound scripted um you know they they sound like saying what they want to say on the fly it doesn't it doesn't sound like they wrote it out or anything like that and that's kind of refreshing it just depends on how you feel about uh you know maybe getting more of a canned response or something that sounds a little more confident um but like you'll hear these guys make mistakes you'll hear them uh you know think thinking that they wanted to say or hear something that they're playing and they're like, oh, no, I actually didn't mean to say that. I meant to say something else. And, uh, you know, in, in, in my opinion, that's, that's not a bad thing. Like, it kind of feels a little bit more genuine. It feels like they're uh, giving you, like, some genuine insight. Uh, and, you know, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's different than, like, the, you know, the way Guitar Tricks uh, does all their lessons is it is it it's fairly scripted like like I think they they know exactly what they're going to say and when they're going to say it um, and this is a different approach but you know for for jam plays the the kind of the feel of their lessons I think it's a good way to go it just gives them a little bit more of a um, you know kind of makes you feel more like you're sitting down in a living room with an actual teacher so if you keep uh, if you keep going, let's look at phase two. This will just give you more of an idea of what kind of content you can get into. <coughs> like I said, I won't uh, I won't delve into all this, but um, let's jump into the 
just look around at some of these. So you you can break it down. Uh, you have sections for genres and sections for skills, and all of this is its uh, own material. You'll usually just have one or two courses for each section, um, but uh, you know for base it, it it pretty much covers everything. I mean, there's just not um, there'll be a, a some material on um, maintenance, instrument care, theory and improvisation, ear training, reading music and rhythms, speed and technique. So like speeding technique uh, and uh, rhythm, uh, these these three courses would probably be what's most relevant to most players. Um, so that's just something you can explore, uh, particularly after you get through some of that beginner stuff. And then if you go into genre-based, uh, it's it's a similar... You know, it's a similar build out. These, like, again, Larry Cook's courses are just really long. And now I don't know why they're labeled acoustic. They have a little acoustic tag there. I don't know why that is. Um, yeah, I'm not really, not really sure I understand that. But yeah, if you if you look at if you and you know, may you might say <coughs> you might say that this doesn't look like a lot of uh, material at face value, but uh, it it would. You know, it would take me a ton of time to get through this. So, like, this is, uh, I guess this is a, a Cook's Blues lesson. Uh, and, again, each one of these, I've been through a little bit of this, each one of these are, are going to have, you know, multiple videos. So if you're just looking at this lesson, he has, um, it's got four videos in here, and they're all roughly, you know, two, three, four minutes long, somewhere in there. So you are getting a lot of content, and I think I think where since bass is maybe a little bit more limited in scope and application than something like guitar, you're going to have less content, you're going to have less courses, it's going to be a little bit more narrow. Um, so so really that's all there is to it, and I do think the jam, uh, the jam play bass membership is cheaper. Um, I don't know exactly what the price is I'm logged in right now so I'm not totally sure what they charge but like I said you can you can you can buy the base membership separately uh, it's a good investment especially for a beginner um, I, I think whereas I would recommend if, if you look at the jam play review uh, I, I recommend their guitar stuff for people who are a little bit more experienced maybe intermediate players if you go, go over to bass and you're still talking about jam play I would say the beginner is probably a little bit better served here um, there's just not as much for for people who are super advanced, but uh, uh, but really any I think any skill level could benefit. Like I said, it's going to take you it's going to take you a lot of time to get through. You know, even even if you look at uh, you know this uh, Joe Santeri's course, uh, 14 lessons. That's I mean that would take you some time to get through. Um, I, I think it's uh, certainly worth the price of admission and worth checking out. So again, there's a link in the description. Uh, Feel free to check that out. Give the free trial a spin. It should give you seven days. And you can check out some of the links to uh, some of the other jam play reviews I've done. And uh, again, hope this is helpful. And we'll catch you guys next time.